By the time we get to the turn of the millennium, about year one in our common calendar, Augustus Caesar has already been ruling Rome for about 31 years. The question might arise, why does nobody seem to care about the Republic anymore? Just 50 years before this, they were assassinating Julius Caesar for becoming a king. Now, however, it seems as if most of the population is cool with the idea of the Caesars. Well, how does this happen? Why do you think there's that change of mind? There was two massive civil wars up until the rise of the Caesars. A lot of people prefer order to all the chaos of civil war. At the same time, the Caesars were actually getting things done. We started seeing more bathhouses being built, some public housing, more parks, the initiation of the free bread program for the poor. There were a lot of benefits for the average people. So what are the pros and cons to having a republic and to having a Caesar or a military dictator? Well, I'm going to start off by saying when you have one person in charge, things can get done very quickly. No doubt about it. When you have a republic, there's all these checks and balances, and we see this in our modern day democracies as well. Legislation sometimes takes a long time to get done. People are blocking legislation, there's filibusters, there's ways to check that power. Sometimes the average person on the street doesn't have that sort of time to wait. They want to see results now, especially if you're worried about uh, feeding your family or what sort of job you're going to get or if you're even going to have a roof over your head. So in some ways, people liked the efficiency of the Caesars. However, there is a big fatal flaw. Augustus Caesar may be considered one of the greater leaders in human history. He lasts for about 45 years, but his one tragic flaw was he did not set up a good system of succession. Because you might have a dictator you like, but eventually that person's going to have to die. And that's the aspect of the Roman world that we see next. Who's going to take over? Folks, this is the era of Caligula, the era of Nero. You're giving absolute power to this individual. You don't know what they're going to do with it. They might use it for their own ends. They have no checks on their power. Yes, they get things done quickly, but the con is once you provide that office, once you give that much power to an individual, ultimately it's very hard to go backwards. And that's one thing we see with Roman history is they never go back to the Republic. People dream about it, people pretend it still exists, but once you've given somebody absolute power, it's very difficult to ever go backwards.